Leroy Chow is a former NASA astronaut and International Space Station commander. He joins us now from Houston, Texas. Leroy, we spoke about uh, about a month ago, uh, just as this launched. I want to get your reaction and some of the impressions that you have so far uh, with this landing. Well, this is really a fantastic event because this is the very first time that China has achieved something in space that nobody else has, landing an actual rover on the far side of the moon. And not only that, but also establishing a communications relay satellite in the halo orbit around the moon to relay commands and communications between the spacecraft and back to the Earth to the control center. So it's really great, uh, wonderful achievement. Um, I, was, I was happy to see the mission launch way back when, and uh, now to see it actually successfully land and start its mission, uh, it's a very exciting time. Yeah, as you mentioned, there had to be a couple of successful steps before uh, the successful landing, but we've seen some of the first images. What have we learned uh, from these first photos? Is there anything that's caught your attention so far? Well, it's the first time we've seen really close-up images of the far side of the moon. Uh, as I understand it, the far side is different than the side that we see from the Earth in that there are more craters, but the craters seem to be a little smaller. Also, the structure is uh, apparently different. And one of the instruments on board the, uh, the spacecraft is a ground-penetrating radar system that will map underground and the surface and underground uh, of the area there, and that will give us some clues about the structure of the moon and perhaps even of the structure of our, our solar system. We talked about the larger goal uh, is to collect samples from the far side. What will you be watching for with this mission in the weeks and months ahead? Well, I think all of the scientific investigations are going to be interesting beyond the ground penetrating radar. Of course, there's going to be some radio astronomy observations that would not be possible otherwise because being on the far side of the moon, all the radio transmissions from the Earth are blocked, enabling the spacecraft to actually do some very uh, sensitive measurements uh, looking into deep space. There's some plant experiments on board. That's going to be interesting to see if the uh, gravity sensing organs of these plants, which enable the roots to grow down into the soil will actually work in about the one-sixth gravity of, of the moon. And of course, you mentioned the sample return. That will be uh, very, very interesting as well. I know you were watching it, but what, do you, uh, what have you heard? What's been the reaction from the international space community so far? You know, we've been seeing a lot of different goals from different countries, a lot of news from space in recent weeks and months. Where does this moon landing fit into all of that? Well, I think on the technical and scientific side, it's very exciting because this area has never been explored. This is the first spacecraft to land on the far side of the moon, and I think the international scientific community is uh, waiting with bated breath to see what the results are and uh, also the radio astronomy folks as well. Uh, but from a, a political side, of course, it's a huge, significant achievement for, for China to, the, for the first time, achieve something in space that no other country has done. I mean, I think that's significant, along with the fact that 2018, the Chinese did launch more rockets than any other country in the world. So uh, this, this is kind of a signal, a, a beginning, uh, that China is definitely uh, on its steady path upwards. Roy Trial, always great to hear your take. Thank you for joining us from Houston. My pleasure. Thank you.